please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Thursday, February 11th. I'm Hattie. Today is Day A. Celebrating their birthday today is Chase Oaks. PFEW applications are due to Mrs. Bangler by Tuesday, February 16th. There will be a Five Guys fundraiser on the 11th and a Sweet Frog fundraiser on the 12th, which will both be benefiting the LH Dream Team Minithon. Don't forget to mention you are there for our Minithon. Today for lunch, we will be having chicken nuggets, spiral fries, golden corn, strawberry applesauce, and a fresh apple. Tomorrow for breakfast, we will be having breakfast pizza, assorted cereal, milk, and fruit juice. Thanks and have a great day. Good morning, everybody. Did you notice if the blue light was on? Does this mean we're getting out early? Today there will be a 60% chance of snow with a potential of four to eight inches. The high will be 16 and the low will be three. For the rest of the week, expect a mix of snow, showers, and clouds with one sunny day on Sunday. The temperatures will remain in the teens until Monday where there might be temperatures in the 30s. Thanks and have a great day. Good morning. The NFL draft is in two months. But the focus on college prospects will take off soon with the, with the scouting combine coming up in two weeks. Some notable favorites at this point appear to be Carson Wentz, a quarterback out of North Dakota State. He's a 6 foot 5 QB that has been unnoticed by many. On the defensive side, Noah Spence, a defensive end out of Eastern Kentucky, is one to keep your eye on. In NBA news, the injury bug has made an appearance with Paul Gas G B Gasol of the Grizzlies, breaking his foot, which will end his season, while Bulls all-star Jimmy Butler will be out three to four weeks with a sprained knee. That's all for sports. Have a good day. Today's word of the day is divulge. If you've been sneaking around with your best friend's boyfriend, that's probably one secret you don't want to divulge. Because revealing that tidbit of information will probably cut your friendship short. Thanks and have a great day. Pokemon, a worldwide phenomenon that's sold billions of dollars worth of games and merchandise. Pokemon is a franchise that has touched the hearts of millions of kids and adults alike, which is quite a feat. This February marks 20 whole years of Pokemon, and I'm here to take you through the evolution of this beloved franchise, starting in 1996 with the original two games, Red and Green. The collection aspect of Pokemon came from Satoshi Tajiri's childhood hobby of collecting insects. He noticed as urbanization increased, kids preferred to stay inside and play in their homes, as well as a rapidly declining insect population. He wanted to make a game that could give kids the same joy with a game, and that was the motivation to create Pokemon. The plot of the game focuses around the player taking on the Pokemon Gym Challenge and eventually taking on the Pokemon League. The Pokemon League consists of the Elite Four and the Champion, and if the player can get through the Elite Four and challenge the Champion, he can become the Pokemon League Champion. Throughout the game, you also thwart the efforts of criminal organization Team Rocket and collect many different Pokemon along the way. Tajiri thought that the Game Boy would be a perfect system for his game, especially with the accessory the Link Cable which he thought players could use to trade and battle with each other. The main characters of the game were named after himself, Satoshi, and his longtime friend, rival, and fellow game designer Shigeru Miyamoto as Shigeru. The people responsible for the art and design of all 151 original Pokemon were a group of less than 10 people headed by Ken Sugimori. Sugimori finalized every design and even drew the Pokemon from various angles to help Game Freak's graphic department design the sprites. Music was composed by Junichi Masuda, who utilized the four sound channels on the Game Boy to create the songs on the soundtrack, sound effects, and cries of the Pokemon that would play upon encountering them. At 
first, Tajiri thought that Nintendo would reject his game because they didn't initially understand the concept, and the Game Boy's popularity was declining. However, the game went on to be a major hit, which came to be a surprise both to Tajiri and Nintendo. This was partially due to the team selling two different versions of the game, which were red and green in Japan, with certain Pokemon only being available on one version and not the other. This prompted the consumers to buy both versions to collect all the different Pokemon available, and also aided in the trading aspect. Localization was a challenge because it was impossible to edit the Japanese text of the original games due to the frail nature of the source code and had to be completely reprogrammed for Western releases. Initially, they thought the Westerners may not like the cute monsters and even considered redesigning them to beef them up. However, the president of Nintendo at the time, Hiroshi Yamauchi, said that it was just a challenge for them to face and eventually the Western audiences fell in love with the original designs anyway. The versions we got were actually based off a special version of the original games in Japan, Pokemon Blue, which was released several months after the original releases, with improved sprites and coding. The first two games that the rest of the world got were Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. One more special game was released in Japan and the rest of the world, being Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow was focused on Pikachu, with the electric Pokemon being on the title screen, box art, and your starter Pokemon. The Pokemon actually follows you throughout the game, and in this version, you are able to obtain all three of the starter Pokemon from Red and Blue through events similar to the anime. Pikachu has since become um, the mascot of the series, and is arguably the most recognizable Pokemon. Later, the franchise has gone through many different transformations. Each new generation brought exciting new Pokemon and features that still draw fans in today. The newest generation of Pokemon was a huge step forward. Ever since Red and Blue, the games haven't been in full 3D until October 12, 2013. The first worldwide Pokemon released to date, and the first full 3D main series Pokemon games were Pokemon X and Y. Pokemon X and Y had all new features such as outfits, Mega Evolution, Wonder Trade, and new Pokemon. Pokemon X and Y had online functionality like no other title before. Playing with your friends is as easy as simply adding their 3DS friend code. You could play with random people through Battlespot or the GTS, and the player search system displayed your friends that were online. Communication has always been a key feature of the Pokemon games, and the newest generation nailed this with its online and local features. Mega Evolution introduced all new designs and powers to the Pokemon that received Mega Evolutions, and in the new games, you can get all 718 Pokemon. In 20 years, Pokemon has come a long way. Ever since its creation, Pokemon inspired tons of merchandise, toys, apparel, plushes, accessories, and more. Pokemon captured the hearts of artists and animators, YouTubers, and more. Its online presence is massive. All around the world, people are coming to enjoy Pokemon, and I hope that many years from now, people will still love Pokemon just as much as they do now.